Minimal product photography is a fast growing trend. That is why I'm gonna show you how to make your own wooden blocks so then that you guys can create some awesome product shots. And as an added bonus, if you hang around till the end, I'll even show you guys my lighting setup that I use these blocks in. All right guys, first up, you need to go to your local hardware and timber store and buy yourself a piece of pine wood timber. Now, before you get out of this video because you don't know how to cut timber, you can actually ask the hardware store to cut it for you. So take your ruler and pencil, measure it up and get them to cut it. Now, the luxury of having a drop saw at home is I would recommend sanding the piece of timber prior to cutting it. Because it's a long piece of timber, it's a lot easier to sand back. Once you get it into smaller pieces, it's a lot harder to sand back. But it's still doable. Like I said, if you do get it cut at the store, don't fret, you can also sand it back at home with some sheets of sandpaper. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to measure the blocks with a ruler and a pencil. There's no right or wrong on the measurements, it just depends what you want and the height and length of your product that you'll be photographing. These are my measurements, I'll pop up on the screen just in case you want the exact blocks like mine. Once you have measured and marked your timber, it's time to chop them up. Once the blocks are cut up, I like to give them one more sand back, especially when you get like rough areas uh, from the saw cutting it straight down the middle. It is now time to paint the blocks. Ensure that you wipe them down with a cloth or some paper towel. You know, we want the paint to stick to the timber. Now for the paint, I'm using flat or matte paint, anything that has no shine. I don't want shiny blocks, I want matte white blocks. To apply the paint, I'm gonna use a mini foam roller. You can use any roller that you have on hand. Don't think you need a foam roller or a mini foam roller. Uh, you, I've used a long roller before, to get your hands dirty, it's no big deal. As long as it gets the job done, guys, that's what we want. Now, all you have to do is wait for them to dry and you can use them in your product photography. Guys, as promised, it's time to show you my lighting setup for a product shoot using these actual blocks. I always start with one light in a softbox and move it around to see where it lights my product best. Once I'm happy with that lighting, and the way the shadows are being cast. I then place in a second light that bounces light all over the white walls in my studio. This is called global illuminance. It's just bouncing light all over the room, which kind of brightens up the backdrop and the product, etc. I then adjust the power on both lights until I get a nice balance of what I think looks good. And bam, you've got yourself a pretty cool product shot. Alrighty, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to help others find this video and I will see you all in the next one.